I don't know about you guys, but I come alive in the spring. I don't know if it's the fact that I was born this month that I just love spring so much. I think it's that I go through a rut at the end of winter, like clockwork. Every year I go through a rut at the end of winter, super uninspired, just not feeling great, not feeling myself. And then spring gets here and I just come alive. So yes, I'm really excited to talk about what I plan on wearing for this spring and summer, some trends that I'm loving, what I'm planning on purchasing, what I've already purchased, as well as things that I just pull out of my closet every spring and summer. I do one of these videos every year. Well, actually two of these videos, one for the fall and the winter, and one for the spring and the summer, where I talk about all of this. So I'll link the one that I did last year because it's still relevant. I still love everything that I talked about in that video. I'll link it in the description. But yeah, if you're interested, just keep watching. I usually gravitate towards different variations of white year round. This is nothing new. It's not like a trend or anything, but for some reason for this spring and summer in particular, honestly, I, I'm kind of like bringing it from 2020 because I feel like 2020 just, it didn't happen. So I'm moving it into this year as well. You guys know I purchased my Loewe uh, basket bag and I really love that thing. And it is a true like, stark white color and that kind of like sparked my love for true white accessories i've always said and i still stand by this that off-white is easier to style it's easier it goes with things better at least like with my wardrobe i can style it a lot easier than stark white but i'm just really loving like true white for this spring and summer mostly accessories so i really love the bottega veneta woven bags you guys know i love my jody i have it in black i also love it in white and they also have like different versions of the woven bag in white love it just any white bag doesn't have to be like designer or anything i have my avianas or javianas whatever you want to call them i have them in white um, white sandals, flat or heeled. I really wanted like black and white sandals that don't have a ridiculously high heel. And I randomly came across this brand, Neil Rogers, Neil J. Rogers. And I found these and I love them. They look like an art piece. I also picked up their regular like strappy sandals, just white sandals, whether they're heeled or not. I love Pretty much just anything in white. White pants, trousers. Yeah, I didn't even own true white trousers. Everything I had was off-whites and creams. So I incorporated that for this spring and summer and I'm so excited. I love it. I don't know why I didn't have anything <laughs> in like true white. I just can't sit down and not talk about linen during the spring and summer, especially here, it's really hot. I just love how airy linen is. I love the texture of it. And I love how like casual yet elegant it is. So this year I was really on the hunt for a pair of like linen baggy trousers. You guys can check out Natalie Rolt. However, the sizing is a little crazy on that website. Uh, I purchased some linen pants from there and they were really tight on the waist. So I had to go and get them altered and like expand the waistband. And it was the biggest size. So hopefully, I mean, I haven't gone and picked up the pants. Hopefully they were able to fix them. But just, they're everywhere. Linen, just pants, a linen set, a linen dress, skirt, top, linen, everything. If I could just pick one thing to wear during the spring and summer, mostly for the summer, but I wear it in the spring as well, I don't care. It is linen, I love it, especially if you're going to the beach or on a staycation or whatever it is. Any kind of top that you can tie a bunch of different ways. So whether it's a wrap top or a scarf top or like just a scarf, just like a top that has 
strings that you can wrap around. I just really love a top that you can tie however you want, that you can customize to your body and that you can make look a little bit more unique than a regular like bandeau top or just any regular crop top. So I picked these up in both black and white from Lost Lorelei, which I randomly came across on Instagram and it is just a piece of fabric basically. <laughs> Very long piece of fabric that you can tie however you want. And this just looks beautiful with like oversized trousers or linen trousers or just baggy pants in general, wide leg pants or a wrap skirt, anything high-waisted basically. I use sarongs, like the sarongs that I wear to cover myself at the beach. I also tie those a bunch of different ways. I just, I love pieces like this because you can pretend to be a designer and you can just make whatever kind of top you want. I talked about this recently in the video that I made on how my style has changed. Comfort, like whatever it is that I'm wearing, I want it to be comfortable, you know? And knitwear is something that I wear year round, but specifically for this spring and summer, I'm really loving like ribbed pants, like ribbed wide leg pants and like lighter colors with some kind of matching top. Whether the top is the same material or not, doesn't matter, but um, I'm really loving just like button down, kind of like cardigan style ribbed tops with matching pants. Just comfy knitwear that you can slap some sandals on and call it a day and it still looks put together. Comfy pieces that are spring and summer appropriate, basically. Which I mean, you can wear black, doesn't matter. You can wear dark colors and still make it spring and summer appropriate. Just throw on like a basket bag or some flip-flops or whatever. But I'm really loving like cream or white ribbed or knit pieces. And since we're in the topic of matching sets, just matching sets in general. Specifically, I'm really loving like button down shirt and matching like boxer looking shorts and like a cotton like shirt material. I think last year at the end of summer, I purchased some from LMND Lemonade and I think they have several colors. I got the white matching shirt with shorts, really love it. I feel like it's something that you can dress up and down. But yeah, just matching sets in general, whether it's again, like what I just talked about, the matching knits or silks, whatever it is, but specifically like these cotton, like just shirts and matching shorts, really loving. Long tank dresses, like the one that I'm wearing right now, I got this one from And Other Stories. This is a midi one, but I also love maxi tank dresses, midi or maxi or mini if you're into that, but I mostly like midi and maxi. I feel like it's a little bit more comfortable. And yeah, I just like wearing them with like flip flops or just flat sandals, but you can obviously also dress it up if you want. I think it looks very chic and elegant, but it's still something that again, you can dress down and make it more wearable. So last year, I also purchased a regular just white shirt dress from LMND, just a button down shirt dress. The length is perfect. I'm taller, so it's a little tricky for me to find shirt dresses that aren't too short. And you can cinch it at the waist if you want, or you could just wear it normal. You can wear it to the beach. It's such a versatile piece. And for some reason, I didn't own a stark white shirt dress. I had it in like a cream color and a beige color, but I didn't have a white one. So I added that to my collection last year and I pulled it out and I'll be wearing it this year. 
And I also just love shirt dresses or buttoned dresses in general. So with Jean has one which I recently purchased a couple weeks ago that I love, but this style and silhouette in general, I think is so versatile, so timeless and so beautiful in any color. Tanks or camis that are a little bit more interesting than a regular tank top. I still wear my tank tops, but it gets boring sometimes. So I love more unique pieces. I talk about how I love the asymmetrical tank tops all the time. Um, all of these like wrap tops are pretty much like unique, but just unique tops. Like I picked this one up recently. This one is by Sammy Miro Vintage, which is a small brand that I just randomly found on Instagram. Just anything like this or tank tops. I'll try to find like an alternative, but yeah, I know that this is pricey. Somebody's probably going to say that in the comments and it doesn't look like something that should be pricey. That's also what somebody would probably say in the comments, but to each their own, you know, everybody has their own taste. I personally really like it and I wanted to support a small designer, like a small brand. And I, I justify these things because I wear it, you know, like I'll actually wear it. So not everybody's cup of tea, I know. So I recently dove into my bikini collection and I realized that I didn't have any string bikinis. <laughs> I got rid of the majority of them when I switched to very high rise everything. And a lot of the bikinis that I have are just high cut, higher rise pieces and I didn't really have good like tanning bikinis or like skimpier swimwear so i've been very into string bikinis lately and i purchased some so this is one of my favorite swimwear brands recently uh, i don't know how to pronounce this so i'll just show you guys i still wanted something that was higher rise and these are like higher cut you know this is meant to sit on your waist not like on your hips you can have it sit on your hips i'm pretty sure if you want but i like to just ride it up so they look like this and I do size up almost always when I purchase swimwear. This is a large. So yeah, I got green because you guys know how much I love this color. <laughs> you can tell this is like a darker green. And I also got them in white, but I got a different top. So same one in white. And I got their top that you can tie at your neck. It's just a bandeau top that comes with a string and you can tie it on your neck or you can just wear it strapless and this one i did get in a medium but the rest is a large so yeah the white one is a little see-through i will say that could have used a little bit of a thicker material for the top part so just keep that in mind and i haven't worn them in the water yet because i just recently got them so i can't give you a full review but i love the cut of them so that's what I'm talking about so weirdly for this spring and summer I'm loving zebra print and that is something that I never thought I would say <laughs> because I used to wear zebra print when I was like in middle school I think did I I don't know it was a thing way 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 back in the day and I thought I would never wear it again. But I think that if done nicely and not like over the top, even though zebra print is just the definition of over the top, but just hear me out. This is probably like the prettiest zebra print I've ever seen. The brand is Same Los Angeles. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Same Los Angeles. Just zebra print in general. I think that the other swimwear brand that I talked about also makes a zebra print. And I think Rat and Boa also has like some zebra print in their new collections. I think that a lot of these new designers have figured out a way to make it look a little tasteful. Is it something that is going to stand the test of time? 
Probably not, but this is more of like a trendier piece that I'm really into for this specific spring and summer. So yeah, picked up this string bikini. Top looks like this. This is like a lower cut bikini. It's a lot skimpier than what I usually go for, but I still think it's beautiful. The back has more coverage than the other brand. I will say that, but it's definitely lower than the other ones that I showed you. And I also picked up this top. Yeah, this is supposed to be a sarong. This doesn't even cover half of my butt cheek. So <laughs> I use it as a top or I'm planning on using it as a top with like some wide leg linen pants. Love it. So yeah, I think that this is such a pretty zebra print. I'm more adventurous with swimwear. Like I experiment a lot more with like resort wear and swimwear and beach wear than I do with my regular closet, but I'm definitely planning on incorporating this with my other pieces in my closet. So I usually always say that if you want to try something like crazy, like a color or a print, you can throw it on your nails, see how you like it, or go to the thrift store and pick something up that's pretty inexpensive in that print or color but for this time of year you can pick up a bathing suit in that specific print or color and that's how you can be a little adventurous because it's not something that you're wearing like every day you know so I wear wide leg pants year round you guys know this but my favorite way to wear wide leg pants, which honestly, I still do this during the fall and winter, <laughs> but just wearing them with sandals, especially flip flops, like the vibe of just a tank with some wide leg pants or trousers or jeans and some flip flops or some just flat sandals, I love. Throw on a bag, some sunglasses and you're good to go just like loungy trousers, like any of the pants that we talked about in this video already with some flip-flops or just any sandals. Honestly, heeled sandals too, but just any kind of sandal with wide leg trousers is probably my favorite thing to wear ever. So I'm sure that you guys know by now that I love basket bags for this time of year. I think I talked about it in the video that I did on this last year, which I'll link below. My Lo Eve basket bag, love it. Tote bags, love them during this time of year. But woven bags, like I talked about the Bottega Veneta woven bag, I bought my Jody recently. For some reason, I mean, it's obviously something that you can wear year round, but the texture of it just looks so beautiful with spring and summer wear. Especially if you get it in like white, I think that it looks so beautiful. But obviously any kind of textured bag like this, but for some reason, I'm really drawn to like the woven trend. And you can get them in like the Real Real or Vestier Collective or any of these secondhand stores. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about. That's everything that I'm gravitating towards for this time of year let me know what you guys are planning on wearing or purchasing or what trends you're loving and yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video